too much in the walls. Just kind of fiddle with it until you get something that looks a little unstretched. That works with the alpha blend, you'll hardly even notice. Okay, so select it. And here we're going to go to Vertex Paint. Now, I actually like the Red X version a lot better. I seem to have more control. Uh, you gotta hardly ever use this thing. Deal with me. <laughs> I usually do this in uh, in a Red X. A setting in here to display it somewhere. I think I'm just painting all over the place. Hmm. Maybe no, no. Well, I see. Nothing. Wait a minute. Seems shadowed over there. Ah, okay, I see what I was doing wrong. Okay, whole object. Or not. Maybe select them all. There we go. Okay, now we're in business. You can see it's starting to paint the color. You see, it's kind of black. It doesn't really matter what color it is. You can change it to something else if you can see it better. Colors are relevant. Some paint here and there. Just spread it out. So you get the inner walls of our little walkway. Okay. Who knows what that will look like, but we'll see. Okay, and your W. If you go over here, I believe it doesn't do it by default. You just hit this more, and the uh, W3D will be in here, and just put it over here. Select V Alpha. Select all of these. That'll give you all your collisions. Obviously, V Alpha will enable Alpha blending the second texture we're going to put on here, what well, we already did. Okay, for your floor, we're going to do practically the same step, so I'm just going to do it really fast without explaining it. Oops. Apparently, I'm on a decimal eraser today. Uh, that's pretty nice scale for this size map. Just kind of cracked desert floor there. You may or may not want to use it. Who knows? This isn't a renegade texture, so I'll keep it in the tutorial. Hold on, I gotta pause this because angry parents. Alright, now that I explained the difference between a phone and a, a headset on the computer, she realized I wasn't on the phone. Alright, uh. Go down here, vertex paint again. See if I learned from last time. I believe I selected this one. Yeah. Give the floor just a little something, something. Depends on what you're painting on here. 
if you're painting like worn concrete because someone's driven over it all the time, you know, obviously you keep it in paths that are used a lot more. Okay, same over here, W3D tools, V alpha. Select them. Save again. Export. It's going to go straight to my desktop. Doesn't really matter what you name it, just keep it under 15 characters. Uh, Renegade Terrain. I'm on a laptop here, so deal with my speed <laughs> and recording and everything. So, yeah. Now you see, you got some terrain that's alpha blended. It looks a little bit more spiky than I expected, but you know, I'd, yeah, it's extremely spiked. Just you know, watch that whenever you're doing it in Max. But you can see you got terrain, two blended textures. This blackness will be fixed up once you place it in level edit. Do a uh, vertex solve, the check collisions and all that stuff, or the light solve, and you'll have yourself a little map. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in level edit, not that version. Okay. Editor cache. Uh, looks like I. Uh, never mind. Okay. Um. Bow bow. Tutorial map. Two. Apparently, my parents don't seem to understand what it means. Please be quiet. I'm doing a video tutorial. Yeah, loading, loading. This is the John Will edition of Level Edit, which just fixes a lot of the bugs. I would highly recommend it. You can get it in our download sections at runhelp.net. Uh, I'll try to keep it updated. He hasn't really uh, released any new ones that I know of. Now this is probably going to be a horribly out of scale. Yes, it is. So I'm going to go in here, select all. You can change this to meters too on a customize, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. Metric meters. Now it'll give you a better uh, scale of how big and small it really is. I'm just going to guesstimate. I'm not really going to fight it. New, make again. Ah, uh, bam. Okay, here we are. Walking through the terrain. It's kind of more bumpy, a little bit more rough. Just watch your soft selection to change that. I didn't really think it through that well. Uh, but you got some terrain here. Like this one's <laughs> atrocious, but yeah, you get the idea. Here's a little cave we made. See, it's nice and bumpy. It's like a rock, and you can take away that black by doing convert vertex off. I actually kind of like the black more usually. 